Namaste. Good morning, all of you. So here we are for another Indian section meeting wherein we would be listening to Dr. Ajay Rai. He's going to talk about the science and art of dream. Before we start the session on the talk, let us observe silence. And I will be invoking the universal invocation. Oh, hidden life, vibrant in every atom. Oh, hidden light, shining in every creature. Oh, hidden love, embracing all in oneness. May each who feels himself as one with thee know he is also one with every other. Come back. So here we are to listen to brother Dr. Ajay Rai. He is the secretary of SH Theosophical Lodge, Gorakhpur. To tell about him in brief, he has been a life member of the TAs for the last around two decades. He is the secretary of Gorakhpur Theosophical Lodge and also an executive member of the UP and UK Federation. After four decades of teaching and research to students of graduates and postgraduate classes, he has retired and he has devoted his entire retired life now into theosophical studies and research, a true researcher in sense, a researcher in true sense rather. And uh, he has given many lectures in variety of topics and he has also published articles in theosophical periodicals. So here we are to a very well-known researcher and speaker and publisher on a very interesting topic, the art and science of dreams. We all say, we all have been saying that I saw this and that in my dream, I experienced so-and-so in the dream. What is this dream about? What is the science of it? Is there a way to live in the dream or come out of that dream? I think Dr. Rai would do a justice on this topic pretty well. And let us listen to him. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to one and all. Uh, brother and sister, I say about a month before, I have already given a lecture on the topic. This is the second part of the lecture. And uh, in the first part of the lecture, what I described was uh, just a very brief, because the month of time, uh, as, a, as a dream vanishes very fast from your mind or from your memory, and so the lecture too. So the first thing I would like to just put a point on those what I have discussed it, and it would be if it is necessary to know something about it, we can. Uh, during a during clarification of the question and answer session, we can get to it. So the first thing was I have defined it not as a biologist only, but as a neurophysiologist too. Even as a neurotheologist, which is a new branch which is coming up, and how does how we, do we get during our super consciousness level? the indication of the event to come in the future. That is, that has also been discussed in a brief. So I have defined it as a, as, as a biologist, as a neurophysiologist, as a psychologist, and as a, as, as a process of the psychometric advancement in the level of the psychometric. Then I have defined about the character and the silent features in the dream. There I have mentioned that we all get dream. Dream is a part of the sleeping cycle and we all get dream, but we do not remember it. And the third thing 
after that we decide we discuss where the stages the stages of the sleep that five stages of the sleep are there and in the fifth stage when rem there that is rotatory eye movement are there when when we start getting into the beginning stage and in then the physiological and biological changes in the system occur which produces the energy thereby stored during the sleeping hour get converted rejuvenate ourselves and we get converted we get energized and we with the awakening is there this is the rem movement that stage fifth where uh, where we get a dream to and that is the place that is the time where uh, we also get uh, a uh, large number of uh, uh, sleeping disorders in somania is that we are not getting a sleep to it or the sleep walk what we called as a um, somnambulism that those all are the phases those all are the diseases like um, narcolepsy that is uh, not getting sleep during normal talk or while you are sitting and while you are active and where you where you should be active and you get a drowsiness into it and you you are not able to concentrate to it that is narcolepsy and then you lose that the cataplexy as the, when you lose the power of your speech and when you are awaken at those times so what are those that has been developed we have also talked about the teeth grinding when we sleep the teeth grind in our young days we were called that it is because of certain firms inside it but no it is all because of the maxilla teeth which also get stimulated which also get activated during those period the mandible and the maxilla grind into it and this during the sleep buxim also occur this is also called as the bruxim in a biological term or the teeth grinding then uh, then uh, also we we get into obstruction in sleep apnea that is uh, sometimes you see the, the sleeping person uh, get a breathing problem all all of sudden as if he do no oxygen is getting into it although when we sleep the internal activity is on like heart beat is on that is the uh, rejuvenation of the cells are all detoxifications are all the repair of the cells are also there the, the bio, biological the breathing is also there the systematic breathing the energy production is also there so that we we are able to re our system in, again get into an equilibrium so that with a new vigor we get up in the morning and be able to perform a divine or whatever the duties are assigned to us in the best possible way so friend these are the things which i have discussed into and then obstruction sleep then there is a sexosomania sexosomania is a disorder again a sleeping disorder where, where the erosion occurs it is all the system that is the gonadotropic topic hormones of the pituitary i'm slightly putting i will be putting some of the biological term uh, do not get afraid of it i will try to explain it into a simpler form so uh, uh, that is that is when those hormone erosal hormones occur and during sleep as you sleep walk as you must have heard about the sleep walk the people get up on the bed is not aware of it where is going even he take the car key and he drives it for a few moment to a defined path all with the eye open but in a sleep that is that is sleep walk or what we call as somnam balism so those things those disorders are there then there is a nocturia too that in the sleeping disorder the people wet the bed it is it is just because they feel that they are in the place to uh, eliminate or urinate but they in the dream they feel so actually they are not and they are depressed so there are a large number of diseases which we have discussed it and which occur in this stage 4 so friend these are the point which which we have discussed that is what is the uh, why does the dream arises what is the dream what is the cause of dream what is the lucid dream what we get into lucid day do we get a color dream or a black and white day dream are we not interested to remember to it is there any advantage of the dream yes we do have a advantage the sharpen of memory too so dream comes into three conscious phases subconscious phases 
and in normal waking conscious spaces and a super conscious space subconscious space is the is those memory cells which have the past experiences and those past experiences are dealt with or comes out during those when we get attached to those cells the memory cell and those cells come to it and then in the waking consciousness stage is the state of the present time the episodic event which has occurred a week before or something that 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 has gone to your life and always keep you hunting about it to get into a dream that is the waking consciousness and the super consciousness is that people i are able to predict about that when we are getting a fama wo wala wo uh uh yes what i was talking super conscious state you can if you get you are able to reach to that consciousness level you can able to you will be able to predict about the future the future can be predicted and uh, some some cases has always in even the modi jurisprudence the cases has been reported that there there are certain solution that the people during the dream get a solution of the certain mystery like a murder mystery or the property being concealed at some places and or parents warning it it is slightly different than what we get into a trans transmutation or when we trans migration occur that that is the vibration you create into it whether the living or the mother get a feeling that the son son somewhere far off maybe in the america or the uh, at the different continent and if he is in the distress or the some danger the mother get the feeling of it and that is how they get a trans migration and that feeling normally comes while you are in sleep or while you are in certain meditative state where there is a certain amount of calmness of the mind you are able to concentrate it well these are the parts which i have discussed earlier but today i shall be getting into the new part and that part a mitla a new part and that part uh, what i will be discussing is the types of dream what is it the types of dream hamara what i have covered the um, the types of dream and the science behind it well i shall be discussing when about the science of the dream i i am psychic conscious about it. i know this is mixed gathering there may be a people who are not very well aware of the scientific that is we will talk about the cell cells brain and the secretion there it uh, so i shall try to keep it as far as simple but uh, i i i will be i may be excused because i may be using some term which which may 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 have some biological but i will try to make it as simpler as possible so the two part which i am going to take as the second uh, second series of this uh, science and art of the sleep is the types of the dream and then the science behind the dream now coming down to the types of the dream as i uh, as i told you the there are broadly two types of the dream and the first type of the dream the dream is which, which you can call it as a day dream day dream or the or that dream we we don't let you sleep that which you always hunt and we have come with the motive with the divine responsibility and to this divine responsibility we must know what we have to do what are my responsibility and what are duty made me in all the all the varnas a uh, brahmachar who is uh, obtaining the knowledge should know his responsibility that he has to equip himself to the best of all the knowledges of all the shastras so that he be able to uh, in in the in the uh, that is grihastatram he will be he can be able to use those knowledge use those wisdom for the betterment of himself for the betterment of the society and the family and at our stage when we are at uh, brahmaprastha avastha vamprastha avastha is a stage then when what we have accumulated we should share in the society it has become a responsibility of us to see that a society moves into the right direction and then to a sanyas asa so whatever is when they, when you you have a goal certain goal on which you are living at so at when you are living at a certain goal you have got to concentrate 
you have to always you have the goal should be so strong that it should not let you sleep and then you will be able to fulfill the responsibility towards yourself towards your family towards your neighbor towards your nation or vasudev kutumbikam that is towards the humanity and that is what we have come to this world so this is the dream what we see with an open eye is the dream we do not let us to see and probably this dream is the most important dream which we must always be concerned about and we must always be following it to the best of our capabilities the second dream is the dream what what we get when while we sleep in this dream there are basic four stages five stages of the sleep once you get to the bed and and, and now now i will be slightly mingling it just i will try to put the fifth part the first part is when you get to a bit that is the relaxation of the muscle a slightly eye movement and you are that is the first stage of the dream and that is also marked with the uh, the wave the hawk it produced it is the dream is nothing but a play of the brain it is the activity of the brain which causes dream in you and brain brain is the, now slightly slight knowledge of the brain brain is, is this is the brain brain is inside supported by a cranium a skull bone in between brain and a skull bone there is a fluid called as a cerebral fluid the function is to protect it and to nourish the cell the brain weight is approximately 2% of the total body weight but it receives oxygen and food say about 15% that is the brain get not only the purest food and the oxygen but in the large quantity so that it is all the time producing energy so the 2% of the cells receiving 15% of the nutrients and metabolites so that it produces large amount of energy so brain is always in the stage of a activity irritability it is always producing something what uh, uh, that is energy is being produced and energy is being consumed in biological terms so we need not it is called as the metabolism the catabolism occurs and anabolism occurs that is cell produces energy and the energy is also being consumed so brain is the master brain is the master when we talk about uh, kundalini ya we reach to this stage when we reach to this stage the two highest brain stages that is agnya chakra sahasra are there and these agnya chakra agra is a, is a, in, a, in a biological in the common term we call it as a master gland the master gland is the gland which controls all the activity this also apart from the activity of the fooding feeding respiration by the either by the voluntary nerves or involuntary that is autonomous nervous system that is the automatic i am not i have taken my food i have taken a breakfast but i am not able to control the digestion the digestion is automatically going on and the digested food will be absorbed into I, my respiration phenomena is already going on i am not making an effort for respiration so my heart beat is always systolic and diastolic beating is always on it is it is an autonomous system so it on not only control the autonomous but it also control the voluntary system so the brain when we talk let, let us leave aside all those things let us come to the part of the brain a brain related to the memory all the brain now the, the let us say i have defined it that the brain is inside it this is the size of the brain if and they are so compactly arranged in this this manner structure if they are taken each cells are taken apart there are more than 100 billions of cells into it and if they are taken apart and they are kept in a linear form you can make a cell the line of almost up to 9 lakhs kilometer so this is the cell of compact in almost in a very very compact in a very very con- constrained form they are situated inside it but i mean to say that each cells and the other cells are so closely arranged that in the in between cell space are very less that doesn't mean they do not have it so what actually happened the cells always getting large amount of energy is always continuously vibrating the energy is vibrating and producing so what are they producing they are producing certain amount of wave 
the wave's length, having a different wavelength, having a different frequency, having a different pitches, that can be that can be categorized in the hot. And that is called as the alpha wave, beta wave, gamma wave, theta wave, uh, uh, and uh, super gamma wave, etc. So the during sleep, during different stages of the sleep, the vibration of the brain, the amount of the vibration keeps on. The vibration of the beam gains get regulated. At the first stage, the vibration is a different. It is around alpha state vibration. In the second stage, the vibration is slightly different. So alpha and beta, when it comes to the hyper gamma stage, and if you are able to read by your meditation, by that is after after reaching to the pratyahar, uh, that is yam niyam pranayam uh, 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 asan pranayam pratyahar, then what dharana dhyan and samadhi. Dhyan and the samadhi, that is the stage, is a, is a hyper gamma stage. It has a different frequency and you can reach to a Torya stage and a spiritual. But in between, in between, you are so pure, you are so close to a gamma stage when you are in the deep state. This in, it can also be explained by, 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 the, by the vibrations, by the sound. It produces. That is the Vakari stage. Vakari. Then after Vakari stage, you come to the, the different stage. That is the Madhyama state, Surya state, and all those stages are thus formed in, into into your sleep state. How it gets regulated into it. So this type of stage formation, that that is the vibration, is responsible to it. The second stage of the vibration is where there is sometimes spindles are do form, but brain waves are become slightly slower than that. And in between the burst of that is a spindle is formed, and that is the 45 to 45 percent that is comes to come from a from a waking consciousness state to a sleeping state, not before, just before the deep sleeping state. So that sleeping stage, the vibration you receive is, is a beta vibration and beta vibration or get converted into a theta vibration. It is all the vibration. The vibration, in fact, all the biological action is either a biochemical phenomena or it is all the vibration. Now the science has the theosophy also believe that all activity is nothing but a vibration. So it is all the vibration in this, uh, in the certain that is cerebral cells, and the cerebral cells vibrations are responsible to it. Stage three, when when the delta vibration becomes dominant, and in this delta vi vibration appears into you, and which leads to a stage of slightly that is a stage when you start twisting your body to the curved badalniki kriya hoti hai, and then you get into a deep sleep state. The deep sleep state is the fourth stage. In this deep sleep stage is the delta wave exclusively produced. And at this stage, uh, uh, the person who are slept are so deeply engrossed in sleeping that if you try to awaken him, he get annoyed. And even, uh, and even if you put more pressure to get him awakened. He, 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 once he awakened, he gets disoriented. He is not very sure where is he, what is he doing. And he will take some time to get into a normalcy, but he is on awakening. He is into a stage of that difficulty. Now, the third stage, the last stage, is the fifth stage, which is the stage where, where the REM occurs, that is rotatory eye movement occurs, and that is the stage where drastic changes occur in your physiology, in your, in, in, in your somatic behavior, and those changes can be marked by certain characters like breathing irregularity, your breathing becomes, the breathing which was very normal because of the delta wave, you were in the deep sleep, it is slightly become irregular. The, the, the irregularity can be, can, uh, can be easily observed in the twisting of the body from one. You, 
it's very difficult to, to analyze scientifically how and what changes occur during a dream. What you do is you do you observe it by the simple process of uh, outside observation. So in that observation, the breathing becomes irregular. It becomes rapid and a shallow breathing. And then the eye, if you see open the eye, the eyeball keeps on moving. That is eye is, that is a rapid eye movement is the jerking phenomenon occur. This indicates that the cells are being activated and the energy is now being transmitted from the brain to the different, different viscera, different system. And the detoxicated system is being asked to collect some energy and get ready for the awakening, for the new morning, for the new dawn. Then the limb muscles, at this stage, you feel uh, slightly uh, dull. Uh, the, the limb muscles almost is a stage of, it leads to the stage of paralytic. You, you take it up and down, it, the movement, its reaction is come because it is the initial stage before getting it energy. So when you get up in the morning, before you're doing exercise, you're, you feel somewhat of limbatic paralytic. Then the heartbeat increases. The heart wake, which has become very slow during your movement, has started increasing it. The blood pressure rises. And in a certain cases, penile erections occur. You start, you not only feel like urination, but penile erection do occur in some of the male cases. And then illogical thought that the lucid dreaming starts. The lucid dreaming is a state where you are having, you, you know that you are in the sleep, you are in a semi-sleep state. You know that you are sleeping and still you are having a certain dream about it. So this is the state where the brain stem cells become the most active and then the dreaming the dreaming or the whatever the, the abnormal phenomena I have explained you the earlier, that is sleep walking or a, a bed urination or whatever it is that it occurs into gives it because the uh, the nervous system related voluntary and voluntary nervous system get excited. You are still in a you are still in a drowsiness. It's still your body become active when you get up without even in, in a steep we start walking as a steep walk phenomena or in in insomnia you you do not get to sleep there i have discussed it in a different lecture about all those problems so these are the things which are which are the reason for causing it now the question arises how would you come to know how would you analyze a dream dream analyzing dream uh, what are the scientific method to know about it so there are these are the phenomena which are used to know the dream the first is uh, chronographic the chronographic is given by abridin abridin chronographic you you form the you make a, a eec a electroencephalogram and through electroencephalogram you know the chronological changes and into that then you go to the, you go for EOG. EOG is a, uh, ocular, that is encephalo ocular gram, ocular eye muscle. You go for the eye tension. You go for the, the, the doctor do the eye, you do, you go for the eye movement, the, me, me, the mechanism, how the eye is moving. Then you keep on measuring the respiratory rate, the respiratory rate measurement is done. Heartbeat at the different stages. When you when you get into the five initial to the end stages, heartbeat and respiratory rate are recorded. PSG is meant that is a that, that is a called as a polysomenographic uh, records are made. The polysomenographic analysis is made during that that time. That that in that analysis, the measurement of the oxygen level is made. Heart rate is made. Breathing rate is made. Brain EC, EEG electroencephalogram uh, is done, and uh, egg and lie movement is uh, noted. And then finally, MSLT is done, that is multiple sleep latency test is there. And by the help of this, and by the help of sleep apnea, you come, you able to collect the data to understand the phenomena, cause, and the process of uh, dream. 
Now, coming down to, I, I shall get into the detail about it, how the brain acts into it. But before that, let me explain you the certain structure of the brain, which I shall be uh, dealing with. See, this is the frontal part of the brain. This is the mid part of the brain. And this is the hind part of the brain. The brain is physically, is to under, just in order to explain it, is divided into a forebrain, midbrain, and a hindbrain. The forebrain is the, uh, is the structure which is responsible for the large number of uh, phenomena, even including the spiritual phenomena. The forebrain do consist of, as, as I told you, do consist of a certain structure, namely, uh, the one of the very important structure is thalamus, hypothalamus, amygdala. Amygdala, uh, this neurotheologist says that it, it contains even the god neuron. And that if you are able to strip by the meditation or by the any method, if you are able to trigger it out and you are able to stimulate it out, you would be getting a feeling of uh, goodness. Not only the feeling of goodness, you, you develop calmness, you develop affection, you have developed love, or a spiritual quality, quality immediately emerges out of it. So those, those are the things which are there in, in this uh, forebrain. The forebrain four has thalamus. Below that thalamus is the hypothalamus. Then the hypothalamus, there is amygdala. Amygdala is, a, in, in, is, a, is a, in, in fact, the uh, uh, amygdala is the one which is very responsible for a large number of activity. It is, in fact, the part of the thalamus is in, in, behind thalamus. It's only the name of the cell. Do not get confused or get too much involved into it. It's called as a limbic cell. Limbic cell have amygdala. Limbic cell have hippocampus. It just don't get confused about it. It's a group of the cells it is named as in the biologically named. And those amygdala cells are responsible for getting into the feeling. Hippocampus are the cells which are responsible for, as you know, getting into the pineal gland and into the pineal gland, serotonin and merotonin. That is uh, that is a good quality into you. You see, these all glands are there in the animal. I will not be out of place to mention it. But in those animals, they are not defined for the spirituality. So the special, this, this spiritual quality comes, in, in fact, get mutated. The pineal body gets mutated to add certain additional character. You have only the right to, to, to evolve the spirituality, to, to uh, your evolution, not in the animal. Even, let us say, that in, this, in, the, in, the, in the shark, and the sharp pineal gland are there, and pineal gland are represented as ampulla of Lorenzini. They, they are able to diagnose the, where, where, the, where the prey is. If the blood, a drop of blood is there, the blood the smell or the vibration, let them know about it. So those pineal glands are not there, in, are responsible only for the physiological activity to day-to-day -day circadian activities. But in a human being, it gets concealed and reaches very close to the hippocampus. It's in deep in rooted, and it is very difficult to reach into it. You have got to jagrit your whole Kundalini here, right from a Muladhar to Swadeshthan to Manipur, Anahat, Vishish, and then to the Ajnachar. And this Ajnachar will again get reflection, will again give certain signal, a wave to those organs too, so that it get excited and they start producing to it. The serotonin and merotonin, some work has been, it is now been uh, very well talked into theosophy as well in the science, it is responsible not merely for the sleep cycle, but it is also responsible for the deep and for the good quality into it. It is said that the person with a, with a high spiritual development and who has reached to the higher stage of the meditation can very easily get stimulated those things. So these are the cells, amygdala, amygdala and these amygdala cells is responsible for. Apart from the amygdala lim limbic system, then there is also a midbrain. Midbrain is, uh, is a responsible, they have a, a system called as a reticular activated system, RAS. 
this reticular activated system is responsible in the fifth stage of this sleep. And what it does is, it is a send the signal to the system to get activated, to get energized. Now, now you have to do, you have the morning, he's going to get up and will have a lion's share of the breakfast. And because he has been hungry for the eight, ten hours, so the hunger bank, now you start. It is being regulated by RAS. The hunger pan responsible for as once when you feed a statutory fan come with the satisfaction come, it is the, the same hormone. The amount of hormone is just like you you prepare a food. Let us say we prepare a dal for our lunch, and dal if it, without a salt, it will give no taste. But a small amount of salt is added to it. You start enjoying that that gourmet dish, that dal. But if a larger amount of uh, comes into it, then you will not be able to eat even the dal, you will be pure to it. So it happens. There is a feedback mechanism by which the action is start. And when the action, the more of the hormones come into the system, it becomes a negative feedback mechanism. Negative means it is stopped those reaction. Even in the sexual arousal, you go for a sex, all I think are adult people are there. So it is the hormone estrogenous or testosterone hormones get responsible to it for the sexual desire. You enjoy it. When you reach a climax, a version occurs. Why? Because the same pituitary hormone is stimulating again the testosterone and estrogen hormone. I don't get confused with the terminology because I am acquainted to it. I am just using it frequently. But those sexual hormones in the slightly larger countries started a version. So after that, the people even avoid is not interested to get to the other side of the sleep. So that is negative feedback mechanism. It also occurs in the hunger spine. So this middle brain do responsible for such type of secretion. And this type of secretion is called as, is, is uh, responsible because of the reticular activity system, RAS. And uh, then the second uh, type of the hormone is also produced is uh, it get activating the heart and elementary canal etc. So uh, as I told you, amygdala, hippocampus, is the most important forebrain. It is the midbrain, including the hindbrain, which is the lowest part to which the, from where very close spinal cord reaches to it. And the spinal cord do also play. The spinal nerves are also there. So the hindbrain, the hindbrain also plays an important part. They have a rapid system. And rapid system is the system which is responsible for the circadian cycle. In fact, in this circadian cycle, as I told you earlier, people have been awarded Nobel Prize. And the two person in 217, the American scientist who got, who, who could develop was Jeffrey Hall and uh, Michael uh, Rashoff. And the third was Michael W. Young. They, they what they did, they did a, they, they work upon the secretion of the hind vein. And the secretion of the hindbrain are responsible for the circadian. When at the time when you get, uh, you feel like hunger, hunger pang arise, or you have a jet lag. That cycle, that uh, diurnal cycle, the uh, seasonal cycle, or that is annual cycle. The animal goes for a migration. A very important phenomenon. Must have heard about it. Uh, diodermic. Uh, Migration is done in the bird, bird in the Siberia, they move out 300, 400, thousand and thousand of kilometer away to right to the breeding place. How do they locate those points? How do they get to it? Is all the activity of the brain, it is the circadian cycle, it is the pineal gland, which get converted into a pectin, which is responsible for making charge. They are very good astrologers. They could locate what the stars and what are there and through which they know the distance, they know the direction. They do not have an aggregator, but they can reach to a mile, mile and miles away, say about 4,000, 5,000 miles to the breeding ground or to the feeding ground. So those qualities are there in not only an animal, but also in us. And that's circadian. That is when we do we get to sleep and when do the sleep cycle start? And when do we get up? We are interested into that. The hind state, the hind brain also plays a similar important part.
friends now coming down the time is fast uh, fast uh, uh, fleeting so i shall now come down to 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 the types of to the types of so as i told you the first and foremost type is the dream which is done by the open eye which no longer let you dream and the dream now which is done with the closed eye i have made a list of the 55 you also recollect if you have some more you tell it during dream what are the things which comes in your mind are the first and foremost thing is for the student it comes very often or those who have just completed their dream. Uh, they... Yes, sir. You want to say something? You can unmute and tell it. Okay, sir. I think uh, I have been given a. Sardeep uh, Mahota said that I have got to conclude it. So I, in ten minutes, I shall be concluding. It. The school teacher, the school and teaching and his study. The second is being. chased and pursued somebody is chasing it will be when you are running it and at some time it is not only that you are running and you are able to run faster but you are not able to make it that such type of dream do often then the third time is a sexual experience who who are not very sexually or who is sex manic they do get about it then the fourth type is a fall falling falling from the height is there and or or the second, next type is the on the verge of falling he is standing there and he is likely to fall this type of dream very often comes then arriving too late you are you are to get into the examination but you have a dream you are very well prepared but you are arriving it late although you know to you are you are you have to face an interview and you are arriving late such type of dream is very often a living person is being dead you do the, the one who who you love very much to have is a very subconscious mind you find him dead some day something in a distress to such type of dream do come especially to the person a person who is dead become alive the other way around you in a, in a dream you see the near one who has died say, a few months ago a few week ago comes in your dream and and you have a nice time with him then flying over with a that is there where the one who goes for that access traveling they 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 have a dream that they are soaring they are flying in the air soaring through it failing in the examination is very often although you are in the job you say that the result is coming out you are expecting very high marks and the combined the low marks are come and all those then being frozen with the fright you you are there the snake is chasing it and you you can run fast but you are not able to move your foot that is you got frozen with a fright you are frightened so that that happened you are physically attacked by someone some of the enemy physically attack you being mute this is again this is a, 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 getting mute is a very often thing that a, a, a very important person come and you are searching your pant is not available you to you take a towel you have to go to a, a meeting then you are not properly dressed you take a lungi and get into it so this type of uh, improper dressing it i will just categorize it uh, one and finally what does it mean like eating delicious food those who are hungry you are not getting good food they in the sleep is especially those who have uh, poor eyesight they they have a dream of the heat and they have the dream of the smell they have a dream of the flower and other things where they, they do have a poor vision especially in the blind person then uh, uh, then being locked up you you are running and you see that the door being locked up then uh, you you see in your dream some big spider is chasing you insect is there they which which you by which you get a prey then you see that somebody is killing you and uh, this type of dream is also come into subconscious and people are able to solve some of the problem as been narrated that uh, they are in the dream they could see who has killed them then uh, then the losing of the teeth is also there then is that in the fight you lose up being tied up unable to move that something is there you you are trying to run up as i told you earlier to being improperly dressed you are you are there 
and you are at least same talk you are not properly dressed in the interview or in the meetings when you are attended being uh, you get back into a child age and there's some child trauma you see keep on thinking about it or some child child is good things comes into drink trying trying to complete the task uh, the task is assigned to you are trying to hard to complete it but you are not able to make it or you are on the verge of making it to find it that is again you you are in a pressure you want to find you want to urinate you want to get the leap off but you are unable to find the toilet and you you are just losing you are in the stage of embarrassment discovering a new room all of a sudden sometime you find that there is another room into it and something hidden inside it if these are the dream which comes rare to it it is in the special place which comes or having a better mental ability you are able to un un identify you of course you are able to contact then losing control of the vehicle you are driving it and you are losing control you are almost to meet an accident you have to fall you, are, you may fall from the hill top to down right this type of then you can see the dream of the fire you you can see the dream of the boy uh, violent beast violent animal the jungle animal uh, then you can have a dream with having a magical power you develop certain magical power into it. then a uh, vivid scene sensing ability of seeing and hearing you all of it that, like that of a certain animal you you are able to hear it and you are able to see it and you are able to perceive through the room you are able to pass from the wall something magical mystical phenomena you are able to do it all of a sudden finding memory is also there in the rare dream flood or tidal wave comes you are there in a flood and a tidal wave comes up being half awakened and paralyzed or that is called as a lucid dream you are as you seem to be paralyzed in the dream you are not able to move it you want to do it you you understand you in the sleeping you want to get up it's a type of a lucid dream you normally have people behaving in a menacing way people are there shouting against you or you in the public that is those especially those who have a cluster of phobia bimari those who are having a disease of the cluster of phobia crowd disorder so they they have that type of thing seeing yourself in a mirror you you find yourself you seeing that how smart you have become being a member of the office guess you sometimes see that yes you have this this you have become the opposite sex and you are enjoying the company of the opposite sex being uh, unable to breathe this uh, this occur as i told you there is a disease uh, as i told you where the breathing apnea occur that uh, and uh, even in the sleeping you may see that some people engulfing air <gasps> and doing that type as if the respiratory rate is so such type of engulfment is also seen in the thing seeing an angel seeing getting into uh, having experience of the earthquake angel normally the child is there so you see the dream has been very well reported into the past mythological uh, harish chand story is the story of the uh, satya lok when the people the, the three loka used to merge durvasa muni came and he gave he came into dream and in the dream he gave all his kingdom and then all sight of misery he he has been very honest he honored the dream and when he got up in the morning he find durvasa muni in his kingdom and so in order to honor it gave all the kingdom and the, finally he has to in order to pay the other amount he has to sell his wife his children to the other people he became a, a dome at a varanasi and the child got bitten by the snake arishan that is a very popular and he he said that he has to perform his duty the wife doesn't have anything to pay as a as, as a tax for the burning of it so she tore half of the sari and gave it that this is the what i and he accepted it and then all those sin happened so the dream and execution of the dream the mother also when you the child is not in the sleep the mother gives the lap tap and give her lori etc hitting other So, so the, these are the parts which are effective into the dream. Then uh, the seeing about being being a, a hero in the movie is also there. 
towards the strong wind, you are there. Seeing extraterrestrial terrestrial, uh, UFO and other thing is also there. Traveling to the other planet is, is traveling to the other planet. This traveling part of the other planet is done to those who are frequent travelers from one to the other places. And someone having an abortion, especially the ladies who are pregnant, do have sometimes who are very cautious who previously had the difficulty in conceiving, they have a dream of abortion. And then you finally you become a dream as an object. And uh, well, let us in the five minutes I do complete it. So basically, the dream, as I told you, is scientifically explained. By by uh, neuroscientifically, it contains two type. Two one is a dream production, dream production activation of the memory cell of the cerebral cortex it produces the dream, and the, and then as a dream organization is done by the left hemisphere. The left the brain is divided into two. The left hemisphere is this part, and the right hemisphere is this part. In between, if you make a separation, there are two lobes inside it. The left hemisphere part is responsible for the origin of the dream. And the right hemisphere part, this part, is, is responsible for the vividness of the dream. How clear your dream is. For the figurativeness of the dream, how, how clear you are able to figuratize it. And the period and label of the activities of the brain, the dream period it goes is controlled by the left hemisphere. So it is said that the people who are having a migraine and uh, that portion of the brain, the, the people having a migraine, they have a dream. And the dream cell seems to be very close to the cell which is responsible to the migraine. It has been worked out by a, a, a psychologist, I'm missing his name. People having a migraine have more dreams of a smell and taste and the portion of the cells are there. The narratability of the dream is based on two factors. That is the day residue effect. That is what you have experienced in one or two days. And the second is the dream lag effect that is incorporated, delayed, that is the week old as an old dream. The memory causing the dream, the memories which cause is because of the autobiographical memory, that is the long lasting memory of the spells, especially in the case of the trauma, the children who have been abused or have got a certain shocking experience in the childhood, they have this type of autobiographical memories. And the other is the episodic memories. The episode happened, you went, you had a fight with it. And then in the dream, you say that you have missed this abuse. You could have hit with the left hand more powerfully. And then in the dream, you get the start out of the dream. It is a fair. The dream is also considered as a psychosomatic disorder. And it is analyzed under the, uh, the, the meaning, uh, to, to know the meaning of the dream. The psychosomatic disorder, if you know the dream, the dream can be, uh, uh, can, can predict the, the mental condition of yours. Analysis of the dream content, the relationship, the past record can also be there. And analysis of the thematic causes are there. Fraud has been, the fraud a hundred years ago, has called the dream irritability of the mind or the socio-emotional adaptation. So, next, we have a three types of the dream. The one dream, which is called as a biological dream, as a traumatic dream, what we have, I, as I have told you earlier. The second is called as an intra-personal conflict. You have a dream like an object in the danger. It's a dream like when the object is in the danger, fall from a higher edge. That is a fast running to escape, etc. That is a that is a dream you come because of your interpersonal conflict in the life. Liminal and the sexual motivation dream lead, lead you to the flying, lead you to the uh, lead you to the finding money, eating delicious food, and a sexual experience. This is all because of the social uh, sexual motivation, undesired sex in you. Social concern and fear of uh, um, is 
is uh, this is getting nude because of your social concern your your position in the society leads you to the formation of a dream like getting nude getting improperly this uh, arriving too late into certain thing losing your teeth or uh, inappropriate uh, dress form you you just take a lungi or a towel you have to run it because it is the time of your interview and behaving in a rational way i think the time has passed and we have lot to discuss about it so i think it is enough for a day and thank you for the coherence and hearing and with this word uh, i again thank all the listener for uh, for uh, for a patient hearing and for a coherence and uh, sorry if i exceeded to some time thank you very much no it's okay sometime time has to be adjusted uh thank you dr rai and it was a very elaborate one and i i know such kind of topics we cannot restrict time to you know kind of discuss and all but i'm sure people have a lot of questions to be asking you uh right. you have scientifically told us many things even personally when i was listening to i i was thinking probably a dream for me would be kind of interpretation of my daily routine or maybe some memories of my past days or past life if somebody can have and to some extent i don't know if it is uh, it is to be linked with our mental health i don't know like people who are exposed they can comment upon it but definitely um, dreams are there and people have been experiencing it how do they link it to their daily routine their lifestyles their way of being is a question mark and uh, now there are two questions i can see here uh, uh jitendra sampath ji is asking do the persons who are non vegetarian get different types of dreams as compared to pure vegetarians he also adds to it when do we get dreams in color or maybe he is referring to black and white dream and color dreaming something if you could touch upon these two points sir correct 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 uh, interesting question well uh, in an aryo way or in a, you tell your food and a feeding habit and i will let you know your mentality your your mental status your activities and many many things the food reflects about it but the food reflecting to the dream has not been ever correlated dream is the 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 vibration created in the cortical region cerebral cortex it is three part cerebrum cerebellum and in between the medulla oblongata it is all the three parts which create certain vibration and which leads to the hormonal system or which is in the on the other thing it chakras and these chakras are responsible for creating that behavior into it right and now the second part so so the directly the food has nothing to do it and let me let me make it clear in the first lecture i have said that every member mind it every member dreams at least 3 to 6 times per night but we are not able to recollect it 90% of us by the time 6 month we get up we forget all of the dream what we had let us say in order to there are that i have said the advantage of the dreaming so that part you remember everybody dreams the dreams are there it's a part of the life rem the rotatory eye movement are there the cells get activated at there and that activation i do not go for a that is a sleep walk that is a um, somnambulism i we do not go for but uh, we do have a dream and the dream lasted for a very time and 95% as i told you forget into that percent now the coming down to the color dream yes normally with the eight, we have two types of a cell in the retina and it is the vibration which goes into that one is called as a rod cell other is called as a cone rod cell is the cell for the formation of the image so image if you are able to get it that we always get it whether it is black and white or it is color black and white means the less of the cone cell has been activated upon that has not been but in the young boys in the young is it has been worked out 
that in in the young boys almost 30% of the images that is dream are a colored dream in those who have got a spinal injury or those who are blind they get a dream of smell and taste they do not have they have not seen the world so they they, they get a something good food is coming some good flavor is coming so these type of thing dreams come the one who get a spinal they get a dream very close to the dream what we get in the migraine cases so the, the dream getting cord and cone cells which are the cells responsible yes we do get a color dream but majority of the dreams are in the black and white color yes there are certain aged person to aged mean the young person to get but the the child who 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 who's our mother or who our sister gets them sleep by the lori or tapping at the disc that is called as lateral that is called as the paleo lateral reason i have not gone to this because of paucity of the time if you hit it or if you hit the the child is a, if is not is sleeping the mother take it in the lap and slightly hits it on the back of it the back of the heating controls the breathing phenomena and the breathing phenomena thereby is linked to the stimulus and the child get into a sleep so the heart breath breathing phenomena is all linked with the cerebral cortex that is amygdala cells of the forebrain mainly and the ras cells in the hind brain also these are the cells which get regulated by the small active physical activity into the child or by hitting into a lorry and a small child get into a fairy tale dream we mother sings also you take you to the fairy tale for the where all happiness exists so this small stimulus that is trans migration leads to a peaceful sleep and a to dream is a essential phenomena and to a dream which are always pleasing so there is all a trans migration for thank you sir uh, let us quickly take up uh, one two more questions from brother ganesh kumar ji he is asking i mean he just making a statement and asking as per science do people who are dreaming experience physical pain then he also writes as i have understood from your talk the dreams are due to the activity of the brain what does the science say about it perception of the dream does it say that is the brain which generates the dream also perceives the dream i think you just touched upon the left and right I, brain okay hmm, but you i have explained it, explained it by the hemisphere yes. and in both the hemisphere the four brain cells are there amygdala cells are there right. so it is mostly the four brain which is responsible to into it and okay. four brain has a three types of the main, mainly four types of the basal granules are also there the first is the thalamus below the thalamus is the hypothalamus and the second is the limbic portion the limbic portion has an amygdala cell and the limbic portion then comes to the hippocampus cell and hippocampus cell then the basal oh. granules are there the hippocampus cell and these are oh, the cells which control so can okay. you quickly tell us as per science do people who are dreaming experience physical pain yes uh, or no uh, uh, this is a question this is a question Uh, i have uh, clearly explained my first lecture but i again repeat it i told you in the fifth place of the phase when when you are to a stage of awakening when you are at the stage when you are getting getting prepared to awaken the breathing get becomes irregular then oh, not only then there is, there is also a stage where apnea occur that is all of a sudden you must have seen some uh, people uh, that sorry. they insult excuse me excuse me excuse me uh, okay i am talking about actually when somebody is dreaming in the alpha state or beta state or gamma state or delta frequency then they are really actually in the dreaming state not before getting up or not sitting and all in the dreaming state then they are dreaming do they feel the physical thing yes wait, or no physically yeah no Physic yeah, no, yeah. no because no, we are in the dream okay. Yeah, in, in the, the dream, dream I am there. Do I that, get that, a physical thing? It is all at the astral level, never on the physical level. In the astral level, no, we they, don't get they, the physical pain. Do you don't get the physical pain, right? And and the second question is, is it the brain which is perceiving, or 
Is it because you said actually brain is the brain activity is the one which creates all the dreams. Okay. Does the brain also perceive as per the science? Or what does the science say? Uh, uh, just Thank repeat you. the question. Just repeat the question once more. No. You said that uh, brain is brain is brain is generating the dream due to its activity. But who is the one who is perceiving it? What is perceiving the dream? Is it also the brain? Okay. Initially, I told you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the, the brain consists of a hundred million of cells. They do contain the memory cells. The memory cells have a three type of consciousness level. One which is called with the subconsciousness level, they accumulate all the past experiences. And in the wakening stage, that is within a two day or three day time period, the experience, what you have experienced is in the wakening consciousness. They also have a super consciousness stage, which is, which is not governed directly by, but it is stimulated, it gets stimulated and you are able to predict your future. As I told you in 2017, by the methylene DNA structure, the, the three young scientists, American scientists who has worked on the circadian cycle has spoken about it. And they have also spoken about that super consciousness part. If you have a time, I can explain it, how methylated DNA Thank is, you, sir. is able to predict it. Thank you, sir. The quickly last question from again, uh, Brother Jitendra Sampaji. He's asking people speaking during sleep, okay, what causes? I mean, he's asking what causes people to speak during sleep? So this is the last question we're taking up in the looking at the time constraints. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a good question. This, this disease is called as the people who sleep uh, while, while they are asleep, they speak. They, this is this is a type of a disease, and this this disease is called as uh, it has given a scientific term about it. It is called as uh, in Somalia, huh? Somali logi. Somali logi is a disease that is in the sleep you keep on talking. What actually, as I told you, there there are autonomous nervous system. You you are not aware of it. The wave gets gets into it. And in the grinding of the bone, as I told you, the teeth grinding is there while they're sleeping is because of the movement of maxilla. And it is not by the voluntary movement. As I'm moving it, my lips and my uh, jaws, so that I'm able to produce words, they are, they are involuntary moving it and grinding it. Similarly, they get into a sleep. And that sleep is a, a memory collected either in the subconscious brain. So the subconscious brain, we automatically, with the autonomous nervous system, without it, he's in the, in the trauma, he, he gets into it. And this type of disorder is called as somni logi, that is sleep, 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 uh, sleep talking. And sleep talking, sometimes, if you, uh, they, they can reply on some of the question, but when they get awakened, they do not know anything about it. So that sleep talking is again a brain and it's an autonomous phenomenon. Thank I you, think Dr. I'm, Rai. I think these are the, just one minute. These, these are the questions which need a very well uh, debate and explanation about it. To True. just explain it, where get a diagram to it and then explain it, how do it occur, it, how do the nerve get connected into it, what are the nervous responsible to it, then only it can be. It is uh, explaining by, it, in a very short word, I think uh, maybe... Uh, uh, plausible or maybe acceptable. Understood. Because, you know, you can't explain science in short span. Ah. It, it ah, needs right, a specific right, space right, and time. Right, Energy right. too. Okay. So, um, here we are. I think, you know, we can extend this to another session whenever, you know, more questions come in. Maybe in a different ah, forum, in a symposium, some... whatever. So, but this was a very informative and very scientific talk, I would say. Uh, people who could not understand parts of it, uh, whenever this will be uploaded in the YouTube and the link will be shared by Mahapatra sir, I think, you know, people could read. Re, 
Excuse me. Madam, just for interruption, you can give my phone number. Anyone who is interested to have yeah, the more. You can put it in the chat. Just put it in the yeah. chat. I mean, people would read it. Uh, uh, right. And uh, so let us be silent to absorb what we learned, what we take away from the session. And if dream comes to us, how do we scientifically understand its meaning, assigning meaning to it, understanding our own state of being, Let us be healthy, wise, calm, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, so with this, we conclude the session of today. The Indian section will come up with new topics, new speakers and new thoughts. And see you next Sunday. Thank you all for your patience. And Thank listening you, to Dr. Dr. Rai. And Dr. Rai has been a wonderful speaker of the day. Thank you, sir. Take care, all of you.